Hey you guys, welcome back to Homesteading with SCK. Alright you guys, y'all probably hear the joy and the laughter in my voice today. <laughs> oh man, that's that giggle like a little kid in the candy store you guys. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting surprises on the homestead. Y'all know every year, every year the garden gives a surprise to us, right? So, as I was um, patrolling the area, making sure everything is coming through and growing and germinating, um, investigating the roses as always. Y'all know I'm always investigating my roses. And right now, y'all know we are in cicada season. And throughout the last few days, we have been prepping to fertilize the trees again with um, fruit fertilizer because we are pumping out fruit right now so I am super excited with the way the orchard is looking you guys so I also got to bring you guys some updates on the beehive so yeah you guys the beehive has definitely been thriving for us and um, we are thinking about getting a couple more because right now our box on the right side is filling up so we want to actually try to catch a swarm to get into the other two boxes so we're probably going to put some um, bait over there but as of now the um, knockoff um, flow hive is definitely thriving again um, my manpower said there is honey in there so we're going to do our best to stay focused on that this season and that's a good thing about getting a head start this year where we can get out here and monitor this beehive a little bit more than we did last year so y'all can see let me bring this back a little bit for you guys so y'all can just see what's going on as far as the orchard the orchard is doing exceptionally well you guys um, the peaches are coming in, the um, persimmons are coming in, the apples are coming in. I don't think I'm going to get a great apple harvest this year because that is my tree that had that fungus. So this year I'm going to make a conscious effort to actually prune that tree all the way back, just all the way back and let it start from scratch. But right now apples are on those trees. And, okay you guys, y'all ready for the surprise? Y'all know I'm always down here, right? The reason why I walk looking down is because of the ant mounds. And I have to come out and treat these mounds from time to time. So, all right, there go our peaches. Y'all ready for the real surprise? Oh, my God. I'm about to bust, you guys, because I had no idea this was happening on my tree. All right, you guys. Hold on. Let me get situated really good for you guys. So you guys can see this. You guys see that? Do y'all see what I see? <laughs> my father say, Essie, what are you looking at? Oh my gosh, y'all. Listen. Let me come around. Let me pan around for you guys a little bit more. Hold on. You never know when your garden is going to give. It's always got a surprise, you guys. Look, you guys, y'all see that? What y'all see? <laughs> Essie got cherries, y'all. I got cherries. Do y'all see these cherries? Oh, my goodness. I had no idea that I would be getting cherries this year. I kept just claiming they're going to come. They're going to come. Just give them some time. This was a baby um, bare root tree. I'm thinking I planted this maybe four years ago, you guys. I will have to go into my history. I say that all the time to check when did I plant um, my fruit trees. But look at that pretty little ladybug right there. So look what I did, you guys. Y'all know what? I'm selfish. Y'all see what I put on here? I put all gas a bag on this cherry set right here because I said I refuse to let a bear, I mean a, a bird get to these cherries. Listen, 
I'm going to have me one of my cherries this year. I'm not playing. And look how pretty that one is. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Y'all see that? Now, let me go up just a little bit. It's not a lot, y'all. It's definitely not a lot. Okay? So, y'all see the little specks of red. Now, this here is my multi-grafted cherry tree that I planted some time back. So, remember I told you guys in videos, previous videos, that this tree, hold on, bugs is climbing on my back, that this tree is going to bear, I think it's four different types of cherries, right? Now, I would have to take this fencing that's wrapped around my tree off to get to the actual label or I may have to just go into my archives and figure out the exact names of these cherries right so this is my surprise in my garden this year man don't they look delicious look at there oh man this one all the way up there so, like I said, it's not a lot of them, but it's a start. It's a start, you guys. So, I know I say this, um, I tend to repeat myself, but I am definitely going to make that effort to chop my tree, t trees in half. That is going to be the goal this year. And again, that's why I'm so happy that I got an early start, even though I will be doing this toward the end of the summer when they go... Um, into um, dormancy I will be doing that because I definitely want to maintain my trees I don't want my trees just becoming bird food see right now they becoming bird food y'all see all them peaches up there who gonna climb up a ladder and get all those peaches so I want to try to keep my trees to maybe maybe 10 to 14 feet and that is possible if you are pruning your tree the way you're supposed to where you can get to your fruit you don't want to just grow trees to um, give them to the birds. You don't want your fruit just to be uh, bird food. So right now, the peach tree is looking really good. I have not done any thinning out of the peach tree. The peach tree has been dropping. Um, as you can see, they definitely been dropping. So I feel like nature is doing what it needs to do. The tree is doing what it needs to do in order to... Um, produce the fruit that you want it to produce I think they say you should prune every six inches um, a peak on each uh, stem I think that's what what the rule is to prune them every six inches apart I believe that's what it is because your fruit will wear your tree down so this is what my my peach tree is looking like and I mean it is loaded it is loaded and it looks very very healthy so Back to the cherry tree. Man. Y'all can say what y'all want to say. But to me, this is such a happy moment for me. Like, oh my gosh. I wouldn't have thought in a million years I'd be growing cherries. Like, literally have a cherry tree. Right? So, this is just a testament of my milestone and my life. And I know y'all probably say, oh, if you make it such a big deal. Well, yes, it's a big deal to me. I come from Harlem Bronx, yes, money making Manhattan, and then the boogie down Bronx, <laughs> so this is a big deal to me, I come straight from the concrete jungle, right, so over here is the apples, and this is the tree that I'm going to have to love on her, she needs a lot of loving, and I will get to it, but I am super excited about my persimmon. Let me see. Let me see if I'll back up some, you guys, because the persimmon is giving. She is giving this year. Y'all see, this is the one that's been beat up so many times. And y'all see what she's doing? She like, y'all can't kill me? No, I'm here to stay. I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this, right? So I'm super excited. I hope you guys are excited for me, too, especially if you guys have been on this journey with me from day one. If you've been on this journey from day one with me, I know you're excited for me. All right, you guys, I just wanted to share my progress on my orchard. So I know you guys' garden is giving you some surprises. So 
definitely comment below. Let me know how your garden is surprising you this season. All right? This is S.E.K., the homesteader. I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.